I'm just going to do a quick rundown of all the different ways I know to power the run cam thumb pro 4k everyone knows the, the standard way if you got a, a drone you're gonna mount it on you got a 5 volt pad from your flight controller or you got to do like a, a back off your battery supply step down to 5 volt so that's one way and you got all sorts of different ways to power it from battery banks if you just have regular old battery bank plug that guy in it works just off that there's that guy powering oh I need a charge so then you got other battery banks like I got this battery bank it's a type C so I made up a little cable here it just goes type C to 5 volt coming out the back and so plug this in just show you guys real quick I got that plugged in there type C going into my little power bank here so that guy's working this is perfect for like RC car. You just kind of strap it on there and go. You can kind of put it wherever. All right. It's kind of a sweet flashlight too, actually. I left it in my car for an entire winter and it still has battery. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, and then you got classic USB. To five volt if you wanted to power it from the input on the back instead of through the micro USB you can do the same thing with the power bank plug this guy in here and this guy goes into the back see that guy gets power there this is actually the same cable. I just chopped a USB-C cable in half and put little uh, adapters on here. So this is one half of the USB-C cable. There's the other half. Just did some different fancy, fancy footwork on the, the flexi bendies, but you don't have to worry about that. We just add those cables, gives you another way to power it. Then we can move over to drone batteries so if you have a speedy bee adapter this thing's pretty sweet oh you can also you can plug this into the camera and plug this into your phone and it works as an otg cable so you can transfer files and stuff and you can uh, you can get the USB camera app, and you can actually preview your video with this cable, with this plugged into your phone. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, you can take uh, 6S, or I guess all the way down to 2S. Let me put in adapter. So I got my 2S battery here. It's going. So then you plug, you know, any of your USBs into here because the Speedy B puts out 5 volts out of this guy here. So there's that guy working. That's the 2S power in it. And then if we take the adapter out, that's a tight XT60. All right, take the adapter out, put in the, that's the 6S, plug it right back in, boom, so that's powering it too. Obviously, this is more for like testing and stuff. I'm not sure where you would actually stick this in an RC situation, but it's nice to know that you can do it. Oh, and then finally, you can, you can also take just a good old 
the old uh, power brick here. And then a plug. And then you can plug it in like this too. And you, can, you can plug this guy in. And there you go. So that's all the different ways I found to power the thumb the thumb pro. Uh, most useful things is this Speedy B adapter because it lets you power it off of all your different batteries, and then it also gives you gets you an OTG cable so you can plug it into your phone, which is super super helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.